All right, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha Kutash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the men of the Lord, prophesying, preaching, and teaching in the Hawaii's and Bowie's in sincerity and in truth. Shalom, Barakatam. And Brother Yura, man, I want to say a few words uh, <clears throat> in terms of a. Uh, this will be a bit of a part two uh, of a, a, a lesson I, was, I tried to upload this Saturday uh, on my backup channel, but then my main channel is back, so I'll have to uh, I'll have to post part one and part two uh, here shortly. Um, but uh, it was a lesson that I basically did on suffering, um, and. It was heavy because for some reason the spirit was just on me to do a lesson and so rock the second chapter about suffering man um and i got in i did the video before camp and my phone overheated basically you know my phone it it cut off and uh because <laughs> it was it was hot as hell man you know, my air conditioning in my car went out, you know, it decided the the compressor decided to go out the day before our first 90 degree day of the summer. And it's just been basically hot all week ever since, you know, Satan, he does little things like that, you know, to, to try to get to you. And that was one of the reasons that kind of sparked my lesson, because I was like, man, the Lord is merciful in so many ways, man, because. Here it is, you know, you can complain about heat, but heat ain't really nothing, man. It was, was nothing. Heat being hot out in the summer, that ain't really shit. But it's just like the Lord's way of nudging me in particular saying, man, listen, you've been too comfortable, man. You know, like you got to start loosening up, loosening your grip on the things that you have in this world because, hey, I'm about to take everything, man. I'm about to destroy this place. You know, and we're not really connected to the world in that way, but there are particular possessions that Jake owns. Jake like particular clothes, you know, you know, uh, Jake might have a, a whole Jordan collection, man. You love Jordan. I love Jays, you know, and, and, and it's not that you, you carnal in a sense for liking and having them, but it's just like, you know, the Lord is about to get ready to take stuff like that from us, man, you know. It, 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 it you can there's nothing wrong with having nice things but now is the time to these little small pleasures of this kingdom that we we may have the lord's gonna take it away from us man whether it be women whether it be cars you know apartments jobs you know these comforts that we have and that's the spirit of the lesson that i was basically trying to get into man because the lord was i felt like the lord was starting to show me that message like hey listen we're about to come into a time where you know, we're about to start catching hell, man. Persecution. You know, and after I did that video, we did camp, man. It was a very, very spirited, very fiery camp. Uh, it, it was beautiful, man. And so after the camp, basically, um, you know, we we went home for a little bit. We came, decided to just come back out, uh, link up for a little bit, and uh, on the way, our elder. Uh, Zaquan, the brother, my lawyer, uh, you know, he, uh, he was on his way to come out and meet us, man. And this is, uh, this is his vehicle. Okay. This is a testimony that he ended up doing. All right. That he posted. And I, I encourage it's, it's an hour, but I encourage every brother to watch this man, because the Lord was literally communicating through various brothers, through different things. On, on this you know before that before it happened you know and as you can see the condition of this car the lord is is showing you man like like listen i'm gonna i'm gonna deliver you but this is what can happen to you you know just just so you know you know and it's a very humbling and powerful thing man um i'm gonna get that in job really quick because it came to mind and I didn't have any precepts lined up. I'm just uh, speaking through the spirit. I just wanted to respond to this. Um, this is Job 5 and 19. He says, he shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. All right. And why, why did the Lord say no evil shall touch us? Because it's going to look like evil is going to touch us. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's going to look that way, man. 
is we're gonna be we're gonna have close calls in this thing, man. All right, and the Lord's gonna do that to keep us humble because you know how Jake, you know how Jake get, man. You know, that's one reason why the Lord hasn't revealed to us who the elect are because if the elect knew who they were, man, who who knows what, what kind of behavior they they would have because we're still men in the flesh, you know, ultimately. Um. And so the Lord does his thing in, in, in due time, man. You know? So I found that this to be a very, very powerful message from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now, when you uh, watch the brother's lesson, you know, you can see the events of the things that occurred, you know, like the number seven popping up as all this was going on, as he was on his way to see the brothers. All right. And um, we get to the place because after all of this happened, the police show up, you know, the 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 uh, you know, this is at a gas station, which could have went very, very. This could have went south very quickly, you know, at a gas station here. All right. Like like, like, like this was nothing but like if we could see the spirit world that there, there will be nothing but angels around. <laughs> all right overseeing this matter because you guys you can see it, it, this could have went uh, a multitude of different ways man you know um but uh we get back the the Akim, you know he's you know rightfully so he he he's torn up through the spirit you know he he because he, because when things like this happen to you man a real humble man will say well did i do anything wrong that's that's the heart of a man who is who had who has contrition, you know, as spite as much as his brother do as diligent as the elder is in doing videos, as much leadership and, and love that he shows the Akium, you know, it still was in his heart to question, well, what what did I do? You know? And and that's that's a righteous thing because it doesn't matter how much work we do, we know that the Lord, Yahweh Bashimi Hawashai cannot be repaid you know there's nothing that we can do to to offset the things that we already did you know and uh when, when when i saw him in that spirit it was a very beautiful thing because that means he, he he's sincere man <laughs> you know because you can always tell a man you you can you can always tell a man and his character by how he handles adversity you know it's easy it's hard to see what a man really is when everything is all good. But when a man is in, in adversity, man, that's when you see his true character. And out of all of this, man, you know, the water for that brother, the water for our elder man, uh, he he showed, man, like really, really good character, really humility, man. You know, he, he was very introspective and reflecting on things, man. And that's something that. You know, I can personally say I definitely learn from I think all the occupant can learn from in these situations because it's easy for a woman to get in your ear and say, well, you did that because the Lord, you know, is not dealing with you or or you, you're wicked or you're, you know, all of these things. You know, these are just avenues for Satan to plant little seeds of doubt, you know, and if you don't uproot those seeds, man. And those seeds of doubt are still in you when real adversity comes. When when you get to the hour of temptation, man, oh, that might that might be enough to, to pluck you out of this thing, man. You know, so it, it, it's very important that we we stay in the spirit. We pluck we we uh we deal with those things. We root those things out of, out, man. You know, those seeds. Um. And so uh. You know, and I'm just speaking, you know, as a man, you know, here, but uh. This this is this is uh you know this is humbling man this is, this is a very powerful thing man because the whole theme of the day was suffering man really of the whole week was suffering and uh, and if you know the brother personally man you know the brother loved his car man you know he he spent lots of money maintaining it and uh you can just tell the love that he that that you know the brother had for this type of uh this type of thing not love in the sense where it's <coughs> Where it's like overly carnal, but you know, brothers have an affinity to certain things, you know. You know, I like particular cars. I like bigger, boxier, like SUV type of cars. You know, this brother likes Monte Carlos, man. And uh that's just the Lord saying, Look, man, this don't mean nothing, man. <laughs> you know, the Lord came through, but 
the icing on the cake of all of that was we despite the spirit that the elder was in he uh he said you know what i'm still i still want to sup with y'all brothers and just just see with and stay with y'all brothers for a little for a little while you know so we went out to a little a little area where we can get uh, a little bit to drink a little bit to eat and we out in the parking lot man and the spirit just kept hitting me man because the uh one of the other younger brothers in the camp man Quanah wath uh that brother who's a very very uh beloved brother man very beautiful spirit on him um he we was talking about sarak too on the way back to the car and he played a video i believe it was if it was of the brothers from the san francisco bay area about and they were going into Sorak too as well man and they for some reason in the car ride there it just ran my spirit up man and i just kept saying it over and over acceptable men acceptable men are tried in the furnace of adversity acceptable men it, acceptable it was just burning in my spirit to just keep saying it and i kept saying it and saying it even as i got out of the car to greet the akium and i could still tell the brother was in a heavy spirit when i looked at him and then I just kept saying it. I kept saying it, and bent, but not, I, I kid you not, man. We look up in the sky, and there's just chariots, man, <laughs> right above us, man. You know, right above us, man. And then my spirit lit up. I say, "See, man, the Lord is dealing with us, man." You know, it, I couldn't help. I couldn't help but think it that way because Satan will try to get a hold of you and say this happened to you because you did something. You know, and even if we did. The Lord chastising us is still an act of love. You know, the Most High don't chastise people that he's going to ultimately destroy. OK, he chastises the ones that he loves, even if you want to make that argument. But we know through the spirit, man, that this wasn't this wasn't uh, this wasn't a punishment, man. This was a sign. This was this was the Most High communicating to us the things that we've been attached to man and i started feeling a little bit of it this week you know you know you'll use a gas cap on the car you're like oh shit then the a ac goes out you know then you then you scratch the side of your car up all of this was happening <coughs> throughout the week me, me in particular and and then and then it goes over to the elder for his car to literally just catch a blaze man all right just just went up and smoke <laughs> you know and and i kept saying it i kept saying it and i kept saying it because i i just i just feel like that's what the lord wanted us to meditate on man and uh you know so after all of that man we saw the chariots we got lit man i i yelled call hello yahweh bashimi hawashai because at first we saw we saw one or two chariots man moving man one of them was booking it it was going across the sky and then we look over in the distance and then we just see like four chariots kind of stationary they just kind of lit up and then they just faded out and they lit up and they faded out four chariots and it happened to be four of us standing there man you know and uh you know it was just a very powerful you know testimony you know to have you know to lock you but uh i'm gonna go back uh let me see here it's ecclesiasticus too man because this was the scripture that i was reading <clears throat> earlier that day during camp and you can see part of the brother testimony he brought it up uh, here as a uh, as part of his testimony because <clears throat> that's the thing that we that's that's the thing that the Lord had us on man you know so this is really just a land back on the brother's testimony and you can see here I tried to do a part one well I saw I did a part one my phone overheated and I was like ah you know what I do a part two but it turns out the spirit had it to where the elder had this, these events happen to him and he ended up doing the part two as a testimony, man. 
on suffering, suffering and deliverance, man. You know? Suffering is a part of it, man. We you gotta realize, man, we did we we are not really worthy of any salvation, but the Lord has had mercy on us, man. You know? So we gotta suffer, okay? <clears throat> Only thing we can do is pray that the Lord puts the spirit on us to to bear and to endure, man. The Lord says if you're of the elect, the Lord is not gonna put more on us than we can bear. So really ultimately it's a prayer of hoping that you're of the elect because if you are you're going to be able to endure everything that, that gets thrown at you, you know. And you, you listen to the brother's testimony. You can see, man, he's caught all kind of hell, man. He's still pushing this thing. Diligent, man. Two, three videos a day, you know. <clears throat> he's, he's had, uh, I believe, three house fires. His second car got totaled, got wrecked just like this. Another Monte Carlo. And now this, his car literally went up in flames, man. All right. This is Sirach 2. And 1, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right. And and temptation is the things, things like this, man. Cars that we like, you know, women. All these things are going to, uh, are going to try to latch on to us the closer we get into this truth, man. You know. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. And setting your heart aright is, is probably the most important part of this thing because that's what, that's what allows you to endure, man. Take, it, take, take what the Lord gives you, man, you know. It says, and make not haste in the time of trouble. All right, meaning don't, get, don't be coming to rash conclusions. Oh, the Lord ain't dealing with me and, uh, you know. And, and, and that goes for Jacob's trouble as well, too, man. All right. We got the, the, the scriptures say wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of our time, man. All right. And, and that's why the, the elder even testified. He said, man, five years ago, he would have been he'd have been pissed off, man. But as time progresses in this truth, man, you grow. And now you can all you could do is really kind of laugh at it. You know, you chuckle, you count it all joy, <laughs> you know. Because he he because that that wisdom it stabilizes you man, all right. You understand the you see the bigger picture. You see that these material things don't really mean shit, even though particular parts of your flesh are really attracted to them, you know. And you can deal with them in moderation, but ultimately, man, the Lord is saying I despise everything that came out of this place, <laughs> you know. And and we have to we have to be separate, you know, in our spirit, okay. It says, verse 3, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. So the most high is who we should be cleaving to, not things. Okay, not material things. Because it says thou, that thou may be increased at thy last end. Because we're going to be increased anyway. If we forsake these things, man, and we cleave to the most high, we're going to be increased. All those material, Jor Jordans, man, you're going to have your own line in the kingdom. Or whatever, if that, whatever... Whatever your heart desires, you'll have it, man. And we're going to be perfectly righteous. We're not going to want wicked things, you know. All right. We're not going to be, we're not going to feel desire for, for whorish women, you know. It says, whatsoever is brought up on thee, take cheerfully and be patient with our change to a lower state. All right. And that's what I was just alluding to earlier. It says, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. And that's the, that's the main, you know, point that I wanted to re rehash because, the, you know, the, the ultimately, man, this is the sign that the Lord is accepting us, man. Our sacrifice is being accepted. Now, we still have to endure, but we, we know that we're on the right track, man. We're doing the right thing despite all the hell that we might catch. All right. And, and and get ready, brothers, you know, by the end of the summer, man, you're going to have crazy prices on everything, not just gas, but food, the, uh, the, uh, in the, in the chat, uh, he, he sent a video, not a video, a picture of, uh, him at Walmart, man, you had like a, a thing of chicken wings is $26, man, I said, God, Lee, did these people don't have any idea what's coming to them, man, all right? 
but the Lord loves us so much that he, he gave us the inside scoop, man. All right. That, that, that's a beautiful thing, man. Verse five again, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, man. All right. And that's all we can strive to be is acceptable men because we're not exceptional. We're not, we're not, uh, we're not doing above and beyond because we can't, you know, the scriptures say our righteousness is as filthy rags, man. All right. All we can pray to be is acceptable men, man. And, and that's a beautiful thing because the, when the Lord, if the Lord accepts us, if he accepts us, then we're going to be made perfect, man. You know? So that, that that's basically it. I, I wanted to say on that, man. I, I don't want to make this too, too long, but, you know, this, this, uh, this is a very, very powerful testimony and event, man. So I just wanted to follow up on that man and, and and jake that's going through it man suffering is just a part of it man all right you need to let use that to to build your spirit up and and, and see things spiritually okay you know so with that i'll uh i'll end it here man you can watch the brother's video um for a little bit more in-depth details on the matter um hopefully you brothers were edified call halal yahawa bahashem yahawa shai bahashem Rahakwadashwa Ababa Ball Shalom.